guys, it's M4J here and welcome back to Satisfactory. So last time out we built this, which is the Iron Factory. And I must admit, I haven't seen much feedback from you guys yet because I'm recording this before episode 4 goes up. But um, I'm quite satisfied with my Satisfactory here. Uh, for those of you that weren't around, didn't see what I did, basically the iron mine is down there, the two iron mines, comes up through mergers and splitters. I was wondering if I'd built these correctly, because I've seen lots of other like variants on the design for splitters and mergers, but as someone pointed out, you kind of want to split everything first and then merge it back together to get an equal balance, which is what we've done here. Um, it then goes into this set of splitters, which goes into these two smelters, and that splitter there goes into those two smelters. My copper line is backed right up. Might need to do something about that in a minute as well. Um, <clears throat> and then from the, uh, the smelters it goes into another balancer which is a little tidier than the first one I'll admit because I was a bit more experienced when I built this one. And then the, the iron plates, sorry the iron ingots come down here some of which turn into plates. These two machines here turn iron ingots into iron plates and then these four here, coming out of this splitter and that splitter, turn uh, the iron ingots into iron rods. What I now need to do, and I will be doing this uh, on camera now, is connect all these up uh, into storage. So let me put down a storage container. Uh, I need to remember number nine. There we go. <clears throat> turn you round like so uh, put you away let's just do that I need the conveyor one which one's merger is it number four yes it is so I need you uh, oh, I'm missing iron rods. That's convenient because I've got a whole set of machines here that make them. There we are. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put a merger in front of all of these. Invalid. Oh, I fell off. Uh, please don't make me have to go all the way around. Oh, hang on. I might be able to jump in here. You can also see I've started placing walls and, uh, and ceilings here for the next step of the program. Which I'm nowhere near doing yet, by the way. But uh, it's nice to have it available just in case. So, I, yeah, I need to build these out slightly. It's annoying. Maybe I can do it. Why can't I place you on that? Um, I'm going to have to do it like this then. I might move it out slightly. Like so. And then line this one up. Uh, is it control to line it up with? Yes. Uh, and then one, two more. So, and then you go from there to here. Uh, you go there to there. So that's now outputting. Good stuff. You there to there. Here to here. Run and jump. There we go. broke something. I think it's to do with the power consumption because all these machines have suddenly roared back into life. Let's do that and then let's do that. That's cool. Okay, so why have has this all stopped? It is working, just uh Okay, it's going slow. I guess it's because there's quite a lot of stuff in here. 
that needs uh, emptying. <clears throat> It'd be cool if I could get the smart ones. And then I can allocate this a little bit better. Yeah, we'll have to see about that. Right, so this is the iron, for now at least, done. Eventually I will uh, get rid of this storage container and the belts here. And then I'll make it go upstairs to the new floor where it'll get turned into screws and reinforced plates and stuff like that as well. Uh, although I might, thinking about it, I might have splitters and mergers for that too. We'll see. Let's um, grab all of that as well. Yeah, the downside to this, of course, is all the rods are coming through first and then the plates. In fact, you can see how it works here. And if it does work like this from now on, that would be pretty cool. Have it um, alternate like that. Right. I'm going to go turn in. Actually, I'm going to fix the power first and then I'm going to turn in. What's going wrong with the power? Sixty capacity, that seems to be the problem. I'm pretty sure my actual power is up in the nineties. Let's get this going again then. Right. Take all so you are empty. You are full. And this one is also full. What about these two? You're empty. And you're empty. There we go. 130 megawatt capacity. We're only needing 60... 60 to 70 ish. Sometimes it fluctuates. Get all this running again. Very nice. And then hopefully this this iron factory. Mm. Gotta be careful with the way we run out of power because uh. Ooh. I'm getting stuck on everything now. Have they introduced collisions into the game? That's the one thing I would change about this game, if anyone's wondering, is collision boxes. I would include collision boxes. Because it is kind of annoying that there aren't any. I've seen videos of people's rail systems, for example, and they just go like... Imagine it went straight through here. It would just disappear under the ground. And that, for me, is efficient, but it's not very realistic. And you know me, I'm all about realism. Right, have we got plates going into here? Yes, we have. How many? 26. I need 300. So I'm, I'm basically waiting now to turn in the uh, the plates. I probably shouldn't have done this. I should have gone upstairs and worked on the next bit of the build. Let's, uh, let's build the rest of these. I think here I'm going to have a ramp that goes up to the next floor. Or... Alright, hang on. Oh, it's, it's, I want to get the plates into here. That's why I've done this. So that I can turn it all... Like the rods and the plates, I can turn those in. Let's, um... Let's turn in the rods. Because I know I've got 200 rods. And then I'll have a think about how I can get the the cables copper. So I'm going to have to put another constructor on this here. Wow. That is a lot of wire. I don't think there's anything else I can make out of copper at the moment. Or is there? No. So it's just that. Right, let's turn in the uh, the, the rods. That's that done. And I might as well turn those in and turn those in as well. Uh, right. So from... 
here, I want to build another constructor, which is... That's a smelter. Constructor. So I need cables to do that. So I shouldn't have turned in those cables. It's fine. I can make some more. It's all about crafting now. So, uh, cable. Get all this done. How many did I need? I didn't actually see. That should be enough. If I need more than that, I'll be astounded. Yeah, you only need eight, so we're fine. There we go, and then we'll get the conveyor. Iron plates. It's always iron plates. Uh, oh yeah, I was about to say, where's the iron? We don't have it come over here anymore. Do I have uh, ingots on? I've got some. Maybe that'd be enough to make the plates. Uh, oh, maybe. I was about to say yes, but maybe. Ah, you bastard. Close. Very close. At what point should I build the space elevator, do you think? Do you reckon I should wait a little bit? So what the hell is that? What was that? Does anyone know what that is? I'm trying to read it. P1, P3, 1, 0, 0, 0. Is it bits for the drill or something? Coolant, maybe? Don't know. Oh, I love you can climb up this. I didn't know you could do that. If anyone knows what that stuff is, let me know. I think it's it's got to be to do with the drill, considering where it's going. And a hop. And a hop. Why are you coming out a lot slower? It's not the most efficient system I've got here. I know that. Uh, right, iron plates. That's what we need. I'm wondering if what I should actually do here is not line these up like this. I'm wondering. I think what I should do, so you're both iron plates here. come all the way along to uh, here but again you're also going to go up to I guess that level and then from here into that I'm not a huge fan of the way that works <laughs> otherwise it drops down and then rises back up again but this is temporary ok back in here so the reason I've done that now is so it should go plate, should go plate, rod, plate, rod, plate, rod. Or at least it'll go rod, rod, plate, rod, rod, plate. Which it's not currently doing. Okay. 
Okay, I'm not entirely sure how this works. But we're getting more plates through now, at least. Oh, there we go. It is going rod, rod, plate. No, no, it's not. It's it's kind of doing its thing. <clears throat> um, I could have used one merger for each, because we got technically we got six machines here, so one merger with so three lots of mergers to combine the, each pair into a single belt, and then one merger to combine it all into one output. That would have been the smart thing to do. But what's where's the fun in being smart? Anyway. I've got some plates. Let's go back to... Uh, whoopsie doodle. I just had a really clever idea, actually. This is going to... It's going to look weird at first. But hopefully it will make sense. I'm going to deconstruct this. And I'm going to deconstruct this. And I'm going to deconstruct this again. So what I'm going to do is build a merger in line with you. Like so. Okay, and then I need to go back to... Uh, number one, and then grab you, constructor. Uh, no, sorry, I need to put the storage down first. Oh my god, what the hell was that? Storage down first, there we go. Then I need to put down the constructor kind of losing our lovely shape that we've got going here as well. That'll do. So I'm going to set your recipe up. I hope this works. For cable. Connect you up like this. I'm hoping it won't pull start pulling cable out of out of the storage here. I have a horrible feeling it might. Anyway, that's that sorted. Do that one too. So you should now be bringing in the wire again. You are. Good stuff. You're now going down into this. Good stuff. Out of here. And again, this is where collisions become a bit of an issue. Can I make you be the perfect 180 degree curve? I think the answer is no. But I'll do this. If I build you up like that, then I can walk underneath you. Can I build this in a straight line, please? like that and then you're going to connect up like so now I've got to power this which I'm missing wire that's fine I am standing right next to a ton of it uh, so how am I going to connect this you're only connected to one thing aren't you yes so I can go here you're going to connect to that. You're going to connect to that. And you're now working. Good stuff. So I can now walk under here quite happily. We've got some cable coming out of there. It's producing quite fast. 30 per minute. So that's two every... Sorry, one every two seconds. I do know my ratios, honest. I think you're getting about the right input to uh, output as well, so that's good. So I need 164 more cable. 
I've got 30 on me. You produce 2 every cycle and you produce 30 per minute. So we've got pretty good output here actually. Um, not good. Yeah, it's doing what I... It's doing what I was afraid of. Okay, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Experiment that failed. Which means I'm going to have to build another storage. Uh, I'm just going to stick it here. Spin it round. Can I not line you up with the conveyor? It's actually kind of inconvenient. Because I don't think... I'm not even close to being, uh, you know, in line. Hello. I didn't know you could pick these up. Is this more biomass ingredients? Oh, this is great. I don't even have to wait for the bushes to grow back now. I can just pick up all these flowers. It's not harming the planet at all, is it? Removing all of the uh, foliage. The flora. Alright, I'm going to stop picking flowers now and focus on the job at hand. So, we we got uh, loads of cable in the way here. There we go. Should have fixed that. So we should have cable being produced again. I hope. Oh no, there's a little bit there. Do I have to deconstruct you to make this work? Looks like it. We got four, we're up to 49 now, so we need a few more. Okay, let's go have a look at the um, the hub again, and what other objectives we can do after this one. So we're currently trying to do this one here which will give us assemblers, copper sheets, rotors, modular frames and smart plating. Something to look forward to in the future is this. Logistics Mark II with faster conveyors. Um, I would also like to get to obstacle clearing sounds nice, cut down trees and stuff. I would like to get to trucks soon. So we can start setting up external mines I don't know let's have a look at the plates as well how many plates we're getting so then I can at least start rebuilding the factory over here that was a good jump uh, let's go this way around I've not really factored in walkways in this building So I think that the, pla the plan for this building is, this is going to be the smelting level. Stuff's going to come in here, it's going to get smelted. We're then going to go up to the next floor where secondary products are going to be made. There might be a third floor with other secondary products or tertiary products. And then everything at the end is going to come down again into storage, which is going to be here. And if we build a train station connected to this, it'll probably be tacked onto this side of the building here. So when it unloads, it can go straight into the smelters. I think I'm going to need to double out, uh, uh, double up the smelter output at some point, though. Double out, that's not a word, is it? Right, we now have 203 plates, and I need 235. So we're getting there. We have got plates coming through, which is good. We've got a queue of rods. We've got a queue of plates as well, in fact. Oh, that's ugly, that little kink there. Not a big fan of kinky belts. Uh, right. 
I'll just let that one sink in for a second. Might as well turn these in. I'll go back and look at the uh, the cable in a second. And then I'll start building... Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to do here and now. Was um, start building the ramp that's going to go up to the next floor. So it's probably going to go... Actually, it's not going to go there. Because... I need to be able to walk between that and that. So let's go with this. Here we go. That gives me plenty of room. Actually, the train station could go... It's not a train station, is it? It's a railway station. I've kicked myself for that one. The, uh, the railway station could go here. Maybe even along this bit here. Depends. Because mines don't uh, run out of resources in this game yet. So that copper mine is always going to be there. So I have to try and find a way to build a rail loop. There. It's not the worst idea in the world. But yeah, straight from here, it's going to come out of the constructor up into uh, a lift. Which is going to bring it up to this level. And then it will go into... Maybe more splitters and mergers? I don't know though. Because we I think you only really have to split and merge things once. Which we've done here. Because I could make it in the future that one of these smelter setups is for the mines down there. And the other one is for trains. Try and split it up that way. And therefore the splitter and merger that we've got set up here is worthwhile. But once you've done it once, you don't have to do it again. I'm kind of wasting a little bit of time here talking about this because I'm hoping I've almost got enough. I need... How many have I got now? 200 and... Oh, I have got enough. There we go then. So I can actually deconstruct all this now. As you can see, I've got no inventory space. Let's pick any of this up. So it's all going to be put in crates for now. I will come back and do... Actually, I'll, I'll stop the deconstruction for now. I'll come back and pick all this stuff up. Let's go back to base. I'm thinking about moving the hub as well a little bit closer. It's going to mess up the power poles over here because these two burners are going to be moved. We'll see. We'll see about that one. Right. Uh, you. No, not you. 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 So now I need the screws and I need more cables. But we are producing cables by the buttload, I hope. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. How many do I need? Probably all of these, by the looks of things. So now it's just screws. Uh, what's my inventory space like? It is abysmal because I've got all these iron rods. Let's try and remember that these are here, shall we? Sort that. Uh, I can put the leaves in to be turned into biomass. Which currently isn't happening. Set that one up. How much wood do I even have in here? Oh, quite a bit, actually. Quite a bit. In fairness, uh, it's pulling out leaves again. So I'm going to have to switch the recipe back in a second. Or it pulled some leaves out. That's handy, isn't it? I really like the way you did that game. I think I'm about to lose three leaves. Not a fan of that. Smart uh, conveyors and stuff allow you to filter stuff out. God, that's loud. Again, I don't know if you guys can hear it as loud as I can, but that is loud. Let's turn... Is it ambient? Oh, no, it's factory volume that I want to turn down. 
There we go. Because I want the music to stay pretty much where it is. I like the music. It's very, it's very space feeling, but it's also quite relaxing. It's nice music. Right, back to this. I need to build a pathway through all of this. I kind of have one, but I need a better one. Pick all you up. Pick you up. Oh, man. Mistakes were made. Right. I know I can use the mass deconstructor for this, but I don't want to accidentally select the wrong thing and destroy half my factory. Because that won't be fun. And then all of you. Oh, and you. Why are these getting built separately? Who knows? Get rid of you, get rid of you. Good. That conveyor was just floating there for a second. You see that? Okay. So now I want to build you. You. From here. I have to go around this way. Like that. That should be the right height. Now I've only got to do this five more times. Oh, I can do it from this. That's cool. That's actually very handy. Is that the right height? Looks it. These don't actually look straight. It's a bit weird. that one, and then do this one, and then one more, like so. I'm going to assume these are all the right height. Now what's the, um, what are the ratios? That's good. If I was to do screw, that's actually very cool. So one rod makes four screws at a rate of 40 per minute. We're producing rods currently at a rate of 15 per minute. Okay. So let's search screw again. So one rod makes four screws. And it makes basically one every... Um, oh god. If it makes 40 per minute... Yeah, okay. So we just need, we just need a one-to-one. One-to-one ratio. What can we use to make... Is it reinforced iron plates? I keep calling them reinforced steel plates, but it's not. It's iron plates. So you need 6 and 12. And that makes 1 at a rate of 5 per minute. You. So these are being made 40 per minute. Iron plates are being made at 20 per minute. So both iron plate... No, wait. It's a half and half, isn't it? That's a good ratio. So one iron plate and two screws is the ratio. So it's a one to two. I'm just thinking how I can connect all these up so that it works. So let's say you're an iron rod output. So let's put a constructor 
in line with you, what do I need? I need reinforced iron plates, funny enough. Which I'm going to have to... Oh, I thought that was going to hurt me then. So, I need to make screws. Oh, not enough space. Um, right, I need to get rid of some iron rods. Actually, what do I have on me right now? Yeah, it's just iron. I need to get rid of iron rods. It's ridiculous. We appear to not be making biomass again. Let's uh, change that. Uh, that's my. This is my inventory. Okay. Back up here. I might let the iron ore back up a little bit and see if that creates a steady flow. Oh, we're not far away from that happening. Thunk, 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 thunk. As I run across the hard metal floor. That's a horrible sound. This must kill your ankles. I'm build another craft bench up here. Right. Screws. Any second now. Okay, and I'm going to make eight of these, which means I can make four constructors. Five, six, seven, eight. So the plan here is to put. Constructor I need to line you up properly so that you're roughly at least there. So you are gonna go straight into you. I can probably connect these up as well. There we go. So you're now going to run up very slowly. Oh, it does go quite fast. Okay, that's pretty cool. What I want to know is where's the return? Like these are all coming up like this, but where's the return belt? Is it on the other? S no, there's nothing moving on the other side. Ooh, uh. So you're going to be making screws out of iron rods. That's fine. Now, here, I'm going to put another constructor, level that was really dumb, wasn't it? That was the dumbest thing to have ever dumbed. Let's try not to walk through the floor this time, eh? Basically, from this... on a merger like this and then I want another constructor are you not level? Oh, you are level what's it doing? why is it being funny? I think that's just how it goes, actually. So you're going to go here. And this is going to be our reinforced iron plates. Oh, can I not make those? Can 
Can I not make you in a, a normal crafter? A uh, constructor. Satisfactory. Reinforced. Iron plate. Da 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 So obtaining crafting. Oh, you need an assembler. Right. Okay. So, for now at least, get rid of you. So you're making screws. Or you will be making screws once I've powered you. Uh, this, you're just going to go straight into this. But I'm going to do it via a pole. Because, you know, I'm, uh, I'm anal like that. You're then going to go in there like that, which isn't really that look good looking. I'm just, yeah. Future me can worry about that. I'm also going to temporarily put a storage container here for iron plates. up as well. Come on. Come on. There we go. So you're going to store iron plates. And then I'll do another one for iron rods when the time comes. I think this is going to work. Assemblers might not need one input. They might have more than one input, of course. Has the power gone down? Did I break the power? No. Why is the power gone? Some of the burners have run out, that's why. We're soaring through uh, biomass then. Hmm. I'm not sure how quick. Uh, I like how quickly we're going through biomass. That to me says I'm always going to have power problems until I find coal. And I don't know how far away I am from finding coal, which means I'm probably always going to be running out of power. I'm just collecting leaves right now to put into the machine to turn into biomass. Because I think that's where the supply chain issue lies. Really? Can I not go under that? I hope these grow back over time. If not, I'm screwed. I mean, we got lots. It's not the end of the world. What are you? You're biomass. Okay. Oh, hello. What the hell happened here? For the for now, I'm just going to throw the wood in this one. Okay. So you guys here, one of you is not running, but the other one is. I'm going to throw you in there. Oh, you are running. You're fine. You're not. And you're not. Alright, turn you back on. So now I've got to power the second floor of the factory. Which means putting a power pole somewhere and hoping I can connect it. Now you're not fully... This one is. This one almost is. I think what I might do for this actually is build you out to here and connect you. And then from here to here and then another one here in the future you can build um, power connectors that go through walls and stuff and that will help a lot now for this one I guess I'm going to have to put you right here for now 
Oh, yours. Storage. Duh. Don't need to do that at all. Okay, so for now then, I can just connect this to this to get the screws. And get rid of this. So I just want you to make screws. Have I not? Do you know what? I'm going to leave this one in situ. And then down here I'm going to connect these up. Just to get stuff flowing again. Come on. Uh, that's not really what I wanted to do. I really didn't think about being able to walk through all of this, did I? How are we doing for time? 46 minutes. Oh, I'm dropping frames as well. Oh dear. Didn't notice that. Three times I've dropped frames. Hmm. Alright, I need 500 screws. we got 40 at the moment. I could probably... Uh, I could probably just make it myself, actually. 500 screws. Let's do it, and then we'll round up the episode. So, uh, again, my factory building skills probably aren't the best right now. I'm working on it, slowly but surely. We... Uh, we might have to extend this building a few times. I'm going to try and build it as modular as possible though. That's why putting individual processes on individual floors of the building uh, is an advantage. Because now, like, say I had smelting and uh, a series of constructing on the ground floor. And then I had to increase the smelters. I would probably have to build an extension to the building. Whereas now I can just add like that excess floor space we've got down below. I can add extra smelters there. Might still have to extend the building, but at least then I'm doing it on the same floor. So everything on the ground floor would be smelting. And then everything on the first floor will be constructing. Everything on the second floor will be further constructing. If that makes sense. Or assembling. Why am I dropping frames? It might just be it's hot in here. I'm going to switch off my PC for the day once I've finished this. Just let it cool down. Let it have some time off. It's worked very hard over the last few weeks. My PC it's made a video a day, at least. Sometimes more. I think it deserves a break. Alright, coming up to the end. There we go, 500. Ooh, yeah, nearly. That would have hurt. I'm sure that would have hurt. How that doesn't hurt, I do not know. Doki and a hop and a hop and a big hop and a turn in. Go. Okay, so you are now done. Reached. More complex assembly of parts can now be automated. Project assembly parts can now be constructed and sent up via the space elevator. Note, project parts are too complex to produce by hand. Just thinking what to do next. Maybe this? I think I, I should just get rid of tier 1. This is relatively straightforward. Plates, wires, I mean that one's... I'll go wait for the pod to come back. Did it say when it's coming back? Five. Five minutes! Is it going further and further each time? Uh, okay, so we've now got the... Um, the assembler. Uh, that's not the right button. Production assembler number seven. So you need... Oh, God. You need reinforced iron plates, motors, and cable. How do I make motors? They're not called motors, they're called rotors. That's the first mistake. Rods and screws. So actually that's that's going to be quite easy to do. 
are you made in a assembler or a constructor? You're made in an assembler as well. So I need to build two assemblers, effectively, but I can do this. That's the thing, I can do this. So rod, rods and screws. We have machines for both, thankfully. Let me jump up here, please. Let me jump up here, please. still be making screws. Uh, I should still have like a million rods on me. Even if I don't, it, you know, it'll take me seconds to build it all up again. And over here, reinforced iron plates. No. Rotors. That's what I'm building. I do need reinforced iron plates as well, though. I've just realised this is in the top right corner when the pod's coming back as well. Should have checked that. So, number seven. So, I do need reinforced iron plates now. Ah, yeah, look. It's got two inputs. Okie dokie. So... This now becomes a little bit easier to do because I can build this in the middle and then just have the two. Oh, that's good. I'm, I'm glad. Can I line you up? Yes, I can. Oh, wait, no. No, I can't. going to be about here, I reckon. So I need reinforced iron plates, which is... screws and iron plates. So I kind of need to be producing... Hmm. I was about to say I need to be producing screws faster, but that's actually quite quick. But I do need a lot of screws. So I might still double up on the old screw production. Okie dokie. So, you are going to line up I think like this. Let's see if this works. No. And I'm going to guess this side doesn't work either. No. So this needs to move. It would be cool if you could move something. Once you've placed it. That should be about right. Come on. Oh, I need iron plates. That's why we have this. Okay, so you're going to be making reinforced iron plates. Now I have to power you, which is where this comes in handy. Do you fill up? Takes longer to fill up with screws. But at least now you're constantly filling up. So we shouldn't be we shouldn't ever be waiting for something. Which is good. What else do I want to make? Rotors. 
What's the recipe for rotors again? Rods and screws. 5 to 25 and you produce 4 per minute. So if I put down another constructor next to this one. Can't afford because I need reinforced iron plates. That's handy. Now that we're actually automating this, it's going to be so much nicer. Right, you are going to be making screws as well. So this is us doubling up our screw production. There we go. Thought for a second there that wasn't going to connect. I'm still getting frame droppage. I have no idea what's happening. You're going to do that. Now if I go back to this, I will wrap up soon. I know it's coming up to an hour. It's dumb. Dumbest thing to have ever dumbed. Dumb, dumb, dumb. So I want you in line with that one. And you're going to go there. The floor is too steep. So yeah, you're going to go there. So I do need another rotor, and I need six reinforced plates, which I have. And rotors... Yeah, 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 yeah. Was it... Please tell me it was one I needed. Yes, it was. Oh, the luck. that level? I guess so. Looks level. So you're going to connect to that. You're going to connect to that. You are making screws. Yep. All done. You need to be connected. Come on. There we go. And you're now outputting. You're going to be coming up here into this baby. So, in terms of power, for now at least, I'm going to say you're connected to this and you are connected to this. And you are making rotors. You make four per minute. is actually quite slow. I think you're loading faster than... Uh... Hmm. Yeah, maybe only just, though. Well, you're not, actually. You're, you are waiting. So maybe... Maybe I need to increase screw production even more. Do we actually have a queue of... So you produce 40 per minute, but it takes 6 seconds. How many do you produce? 4. And that's why... Okay, that's why it's coming out in blocks of 4 as well. Okay, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. So you produce five, you produce four. And I'll bring all these out into storage at some point. Right, I'm going to wrap up the episode. Because um, we're still skipping frames. So I don't know what's going on there. Like I said, I'll, I'll shut down my PC for the rest of the day after this. And then uh, hopefully next time I start to record stuff, it'll work. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and, of course, if you're enjoying the series. Drop some comments down below with ideas for future episodes. Uh, let me know what you think about this setup as well. I'm already thinking that I need to boost the, um, the iron input, so I'll be looking to... Basically, I want to unlock trucks as soon as possible so I can bring more iron 
into the factory. And at some point I'll start building something like this for copper as well. So uh, we'll look to do that in the not too distant future. Um, but yeah, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I will see you soon.